Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to be picking this lock here, which is an old um, bronze Yale shrouded padlock. This was given to me today um, from a good friend of mine. I'd helped him out a couple of weeks ago uh, with something, he was moving house. And um, he gave me this as a little thank you. I think he said he bought it off of eBay a couple of days ago. So, I'm going to try an SPP this one. I haven't done yet. I did rake it earlier because um, it's a little bit seized up. So I, I give it a rake and it, it popped open. As far as I know, there's no security pins in this one. I'm going to uh, SPP it. I don't want to do it any uh, damage by raking it. Okay, they all feel um, they all feel like they're actually set. So I may have um, maybe overset one or two. Just trying to lose tension a bit. Ah, there we go. Yeah, one of the pins were slightly overset. There is a little bit gunked up inside. So sometimes it feels like they're set and they're not, or they're overset. Okay, there we go. That's picked. And there is something um, a little unusual about this lock, which I'll show you now. There we go. It's actually got um, a hinged shackle on it, uh, which I thought was quite strange. Um, you wouldn't normally see that on um, a pin tumbler lock. It's the sort of um, shackle you'd find on like um, a lever type lock. But not on a pin tumbler. Um, it's a real nice lock. Um, it's bronze rather than um, brass. You can tell it's an old one because um, the Yale is written in capital letters. All the older ones are all written in capital. I'm not sure what sort of year or decade they changed over to um, the smaller letters. But that's a good indication anyway of an old Yale uh, capital letters. Um, but yeah, I find it, I think it's quite unusual. Um, you don't often see see shrouded ones. Um, and you definitely very rarely see um, hinged shackle ones. I thought that was quite strange. It's key retaining. The only uh, downfall is it doesn't come with a key. But I'm going to have a go at impressioning the key for this lock. Um, if you have a look at the key picking website, there's a post on there um, all about key impressioning. Lots of uh, information and detail on there, so I'm going to have a good read up of that. I've got an old Yale 1A key, um, which seems to fit okay. Same profile, so no problem getting a blank for that. It's a 5 pin lock, um, all regular pins. As far as I know, you can't remove the core of this one. I um, don't know if you can catch that on the camera. Probably not. Maybe. Uh, right there. I don't know if you can see that little circle. Um, it looks like there's a pin that goes through there and out the other side. Um, I would imagine maybe that retains the core. Maybe if you push that through or drill that through, you may be able to drop the core out. But I don't want to go messing about with that. Um, 
so I'm going to have a go at impression in it. What I've noticed as well inside the lock, if you run your pick across the bottom of the keyway, and if you can hear that, it's got um, the little holes. I don't know if I can get it on camera. Probably not. No. Um, if you take a core out of um, like a rear cable padlock on a lot of them what you'll notice you've got the little holes in the bottom there and as you turn the key once you've removed the core when you turn the key all the way around you can actually drop the key pins out of the bottom um, I thought that was a little bit strange that it's got the cutouts here in the lock because um, it's not really a removable core but I thought I'd just share that with you anyway um, so yeah, real nice lock all in all. Um, definitely take pride of place in my collection. So thanks to my mate um, for that. All it needs now is um, a bit of a clean up and um, a key. Definitely deserves a key this one. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep watching so we'll be posting some more videos soon. Please leave your comments and uh, please rate the video. Cheers.